Refreshing Stories. My name is Hiroshi. I work for a well known camping goods company, and I'm the section manager of marketing in the second sales team. I married my wife, Minami, two years ago. At our company, we often have gatherings using our own products, and we were allowed to bring our families to these events. Well, well. Everyone, please eat to your heart's content. There's plenty for everyone, and it's all on the company today. Nice to meet you. I am Hiroshi's wife. Oh my goodness. I can't believe even you got married, Hiroshi. Are you sure you're alright on that salary? Can you even support your wife? Well, of course. I'm doing my best. Ah, what a cute thing to say. But I bet you're both having to work to make ends meet, aren't you? For now, yes. Well, missus. I know this guy says he's a section manager, but the sales team too is an idle position. Oh, really? I didn't know. This might be a harsh way to put it, but it's the truth. Even if you become section manager of Sales Team 2, there's no further growth possible after that. <laughs> That's only because no one else has done it yet. Don't worry. No matter what, I intend to climb my way up. This guy was named Hatayama. He was the head of the marketing department. He's the son of the managing director, and he's more or less my boss. However, Due to a difference in opinion of how we should go about our sales, Hatayama and I had become rivals within the company. Everyone has a lot of passion in the beginning, you know. But in the end, they all disappear without being able to accomplish anything. If you're just in sales, then you can get by on just your spirit, but marketing isn't such an easy world. If you think that you'll ever be in the same position as me, you better think twice. It'll probably take you 10,000 years! If not more... Watch me, Minami. I'm about to make Mr. Hatayama eat his own words. Let's see what you've got, Hiroshi. Bring it on! No matter what you try to do, my dad is the managing director anyway. The amount of information and knowledge that I get is on a completely different level. So of course I move up more quickly. Mr. Hatayama, may I ask how old you are? I'm 25 years old. And you, Hiroshi? 28. Aww, how cute. Three years older than me and still beneath me at work. I certainly never want to become a boss like this, who trashes their employee in front of their own wife. How rude! Who do you think you are speaking to my husband like that? Wow, it's so amazing that you have your bright future already promised. I want to marry you. Hey, your true thoughts on what you're saying out loud were reversed there. What? Oh, oh dear. Sheesh, Mr. Hatayama. Please don't say such mean things to my husband. <laughs> what you're saying and your attitude don't seem to match up either. That's not true. It's written all over your face. My dear son, in this industry, what are you aiming to be? Most certainly. Number one, of course. Well said. After all, this is a dog-eat-dog -dog world. Only the strongest survive. I know I've said this time and time again, but in the world of marketing, only first place is the winner. Would anyone buy their number two option? If the number one option is within budget? Absolutely not! Amongst all of the options, everyone in this world will buy the product that they like the most. Yes, father. So don't let yourself get dragged down by a guy like Hiroshi who's stuck in the past. Not only is he not smart, but his way of thinking is ancient. In this day and age, he still says some nonsense about person-to-person, human-to-human. -to -human. However, he's someone that we can easily use. So make sure you hold him tightly by the reins, and do not let him go! Yes, absolutely. Your wish is my command. The Hatayama father and son had a habit of making important decisions based on empty theories. However, our customers are not data, nor are they numbers. But they're humans just like us. I thought it was my duty as somebody in sales to make everybody around me happy. A camping trip with the family. How lovely. But you know, a lot of first-time campers run into trouble if it suddenly starts to rain, or if bugs come into the tent. And they're often unable to deal with these incidents. That's why, in your case, I would suggest renting a camping van. I think this is the best option for you and your family. Ah, well, unfortunately our company doesn't have any camper vans. But since you took the time to call us, I'll do some research for you and send you some other options. I'll send you an email by tomorrow. Take care. Hiroshi? I see you're slacking on your work yet again. This is all part of the job, isn't it? I think it's an important sales tactic. 
I'm doing my best to gain the customer's trust so they can rely on our company. And what do you intend on doing if our rival companies increase their sales because of you? I'm selling everything that I can, as long as it makes sense for the customer. It's just that our company can't provide what this customer needs, so I'm borrowing another company's product in the meantime. You should be tricking the customer all the way to the end. Don't let them think that they have any other options besides what our company offers. You got that? And in that way, I was feeling the pressure from not only the manager, Hatayama, but also from his father, the managing director. Everyone in the sales team, too, had rave reviews externally, but because, as their section manager, I was clashing with upper management, their treatment and opportunities for work were being negatively affected. In the midst of all that, something really happy occurred. One day, I was given the opportunity to meet with a representative from the international NGO, Offer, and I gave them a presentation of the camping chairs and goods that we produce. Turns out, that was exactly what Offer needed right now, and I pretty much secured one of the biggest contracts in the history of the company on the spot. Well, I guess hard work really does pay off. You hear that, Mr. Hatayama? You see that? Anyone who's only looking at the numbers never could have given a presentation like that. Well then, I should go meet with the production department for next steps. In reality, I should have reported the contract straight to upper management, but I got carried away with my excitement and had spilled the beans to a few of my colleagues internally. And then, something unthinkable happened. Oh, Hiroshi. Looks like you did a good job with the offer contract. Thank you very much. As a result of this, I'm sure we'll get some international attention as well. We've decided that the special projects team is going to take it from here. So you're officially released from this project. What? Sorry, I don't think I understand what you're saying. This is a contract that I brought in, you know? Don't get so carried away now. That doesn't matter anymore. Let's not forget that you're my subordinate. I couldn't believe it. But my great accomplishment was stolen from right under me by Hadayama! Of course I was happy to hear that the project itself ended in a great success, but the entire bonus that came out of it was also given to Hatayama and the special projects team. This really made me upset, so I went home and talked to Minami about it to get it off my chest. Come on, cheer up! Sorry, I just got carried away by the excitement, so it's hitting me even harder. You just gotta let it go, it's nothing. Plus, money isn't everything, and there are more important things to worry about. Yeah, I guess. I guess karma came to get me. These tents weren't supposed to be for leisure. They were supposed to be for people who were suffering after losing their homes and their families. And yet, all I was thinking about was how happy I was to score the contract and... There's nothing you can do about that. In Japan, we don't have any war, and it would be hard to think about their situation. I guess. But my motto has always been to think about the people who would be using our product, and to put myself in their shoes. I'm such a shallow piece of crap. Don't be so hard on yourself. Fast forward a few months after that. Oh, Minami, look at you. Did you buy some expensive makeup again? Why not? I'm allowed. I've been working hard at my part-time job. Are you sure you can buy all of that with your salary from a part-time job? Jeez, why does it matter to you anyway? It's not like I'm causing you any inconvenience. Well, I mean, I guess so. Somehow, Minami seemed to have a lot of spending money these days. On top of that, she was in a particularly good mood most days. But that being said, I also felt like she had become even more cold towards me. I was still a little depressed from the offer incident, so it took me a while to notice any of the changes in my own life. Hey, Minami, our wedding anniversary is coming up, so let's go for dinner somewhere. Just the two of us. Wow, I can't believe it's already that time of year. Time really does fly, doesn't it? I've actually already made dinner reservations. Wow, really? Where? Tell me, tell me! Well, don't be too surprised, alright? It's... here! What? Seriously? This is the place they were showing on TV the other day. You were able to get a reservation? Yep. Usually the waitlist is like half a year long, but they just so happened to have a cancellation that day. It's fate! Wow, that's amazing! Thank you so much, Hiroshi. I didn't think much of it, and had made reservations at a high-end restaurant to celebrate my wedding anniversary with Minami. I was relieved in a way to see that I was still able to make her happy. At that moment, I had a flashback to our conversation after the offer incident. In Japan, we don't have any war, and it would be hard to think about their situation. Offer was an acronym, their official name being 
Organization for War Refugees. It was an NGO aimed at helping war refugees to rebuild their lives. When I talked to Minami about this, I had only told her that they were a volunteer group. So how did she know that it had anything to do with war? I became suspicious and began coming up with my own conspiracy theory. That was, that someone at my workplace had told Minami about the entire offer incident behind my back, and on top of that, before I had told her myself. I could only think of one person who would do such a thing, and I could only think of one motive behind it. You see, there's this NGO called Offer. Mm-hmm. And I stole the entire contract right from that idiot, Hiroshi. Wow, incredible! And so, I began digging into it immediately. It's not like I could forcefully look through their two cell phones. So first I borrowed some material from the accounting department and looked at the flow of money within the marketing department. What I found was suspicious. Starting the month following the offer incident, there was an advertising agency account whose transactions had significantly decreased. It was a company I had never even heard of. When I tried searching that company's registration, I found that it was registered under the CEO's name, Minami Noda. Noda was actually Minami's maiden name, which could only mean that Hatayama had Minami make a fake company, and he was smuggling money to her that way. The reason why the transactions had decreased was because he had gotten plenty of money from the offer bonus, and he was trying to fade out the fake company before someone else found out. The day of our wedding anniversary arrived. I'm so sorry. Someone called out at my part-time job, so they're asking me to stay late. I don't think I can go tonight. I'm truly so sorry. What? Are you serious? Yeah, I know. It sucks. I know how hard it is to get a reservation there, and I was dying to go. But it doesn't look like I can get out of this one. I'm really sorry. I see. What a bummer. Well then, I'll go ahead and cancel the reservation. Oh, don't worry about that. I already called them earlier and canceled it. Is that so? You're so busy with work, but that was very generous of you. Sure! I felt bad making you do everything yourself, so... Alright, well I'm going to get back to work now. Sorry again. And so, Minami cancelled last minute on our wedding anniversary date. Minami, you look beautiful. Thanks. It's all thanks to you, Mr. Hatayama. If you hadn't saved me that day that I met you, I would have stupidly believed in Hiroshi, and that he would ever make something of himself. Yeah. As if he'll ever move up any further from where he is now. But with you, there's a bright future ahead already promised. It doesn't get better than this. Well, look out the window at the gorgeous view. This town will envelop and protect our love with its glistening city lights. <sighs> what? <sighs> is... is that... That is definitely Hiroshi! What on earth are you two doing? Please don't stop me! This is what I want, honestly! I've already promised this person my future! You had made a promise to me! Have you forgotten? If you're going to break a promise that easily, I have a hard time believing your honesty now! Hiroshi! We're already here! So just admit your loss already! Admit that you couldn't beat me! Not in love or in work! That's all there is to it! Exactly! So just go home! You cheated on me! You cheated on me with my own boss! It's not cheating! Don't just brush it under the rug with such loose words! He's my fiancé! We're going to get married and I'm already pregnant with his child too! Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Hiroshi, I'm a man too! Don't worry, I'll pay you a settlement fee. I'll pay you the fee, so just surrender and draw back in peace. And then we can put this all behind us! That's fine, right? Then we're all happy! And I'm sure you'll be able to find someone else in no time. You're awfully confident, the both of you. Of course. That's because between us, there's nothing but real, true love. Money. What? Minami? Mark my words. That guy will never get promoted. I'm sorry, Hiroshi. It's already said that he's going to become a managing director at the very least. And actually, I believe that someday he'll become the CEO. It's useless. Trust me, Hiroshi. Look, I know that you're angry and feeling regretful. But Minami's feelings are already all for me. She feels nothing towards you anymore. This isn't a matter of feelings, I promise. I know that you're embezzling company money, aren't you? What? And what makes you say that? You have no proof! I know that you were paying Minami Noda's company a fake advertising fee. I wonder what the tax department will say. And I really wonder what the auditing committee will say. 
Wait, wait, Minami, did you say something to this fool? Of course I didn't say anything. Well, I'll be saying something. Wait, 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 Please, I'm begging you to! Please don't let our happiness end here like this! I'll give you one day. Thank you! Thank you! I swear I'll pay you the full fee for staying silent within today! Thanks again! That day, Hatayama deposited $10,000 into my account. And the next day, I reported Hatayama to the police for embezzling company money. What? Why? How could you do this? I even paid you to stay silent! All I said was that I'd give you one day. I never said I would or wouldn't do anything beyond that, so I kept my promise and waited one day before I reported you. What does that even mean? So you just gave me one night to sleep and that's it? You're a scammer! Well, I guess you paid $10,000 up front, so I'll deduct that from the settlement fee I'll be suing you for. You're planning on taking more of my money? Obviously, we wouldn't need the court if it was settled so easily, and if that was enough, you completely broke apart my marriage and therefore my home. So you should just be grateful that you're getting a second chance at life. But I can't go back to this company. Not anymore. H Hiroshi, I was, um, you see. Uh-huh. Well, yeah. So, um, so what do you say? Let's start over. See, we can raise this baby inside of me together. That must be a lie, too. How did you know? I can see right through your lies and the lies that you're about to tell, too. Plus... If we cause any inconveniences to the baby once it's born, YouTube will never forgive us. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm going to be taking over for Hatayama's job. What? So does that mean... Yep, I'm the new marketing manager. That's a huge promotion! Congratulations! It is congratulatory, isn't it? Congratulations! Yeah, whatever. You better pay the settlement fee, you gold-digging roach! Oh, come on, it's fine, isn't it? You're gonna be earning so much now. You'll be fine, right? Are you kidding me? It's not the money that I want. I just want you to feel even half of the pain and trauma that I've had to deal with because of you. Yeah! Please, please just help me. I'll do anything. Oh, you'll do anything? Yes. All right, then don't sleep and keep working until you pay it all back. What? That's impossible. Just like that, my nemesis Hatayama was arrested and charged with embezzlement. Minami was indicted and put into house arrest, but since her suspended sentence was reduced, she's been working hard to pay back the settlement fee. Furthermore, if you want to know about the managing director... Managing director? Don't you think your son did something terrible? He was abusing his own power and using company money for his own personal gain. That's unforgivable, isn't it? Uh, uh, <laughs> hmm? Is something the matter? Are you okay? Do you have any other accomplices? Actually, my father is the one who taught me everything. He's embezzling even more than I did. Why did you tell them the truth, you idiot son? You should have let me out of this. B because I was scared. <laughs> who would have thought that they were in this together? As they say, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. After this incident, the company's stocks temporarily plummeted. But after I took control of the marketing department and the corporate structure was fundamentally improved, we were able to gain back the trust of the industry and the rest of society. And the members of the sales team too, who had been repressed for so long, were finally able to fulfill their true potential as well. Thank you for watching all the way till the end. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. And if you have time, please check out our other videos as well. Alright then, see you next time. Bye.